Hi, in this video I will show you how you can send bulk emails with Gmail. First, we are going to launch MaxBook Mailer, our bulk mailer. In the MaxBook Mailer, you have several uh, tab panels uh, named the Message, Recipient, Settings, Preview, and Delivery. One of them, Settings, lets you insert server settings. So let's go. Here, you have to enter several important information like the SMTP host, uh, the, uh, your account ID, your password for Gmail, and all kinds of settings that are specific to that server. So let's go. Uh, mm, the, server, the Gmail server address is, in this case, uh, SMTP gmail.com and just in case we are going to use the uh, 587 uh, port instead of uh, default 25 in case your uh, mm, port 25 is blocked by your uh, internet provider which is quite common uh, once you have inserted the SMTP host it is exactly the same for you uh, you have to insert your account ID. It is your Gmail account ID. My ad, my Gmail account ID is Maxprog, like my company. Okay. Then you have to enter the password of your Gmail account. Uh, in this case, I'm going to insert a wrong password, so we will see the result later. So I will put uh, whatever. Now. You can set the connections, how many connections uh, Max Miller will open at the same time. It is recommended to not uh, connect to mm, not to use more than more, more than three connections at the same time. Uh, for the moment, we will set it to three, and then you have to set the security. Uh, mm, Gmail uh, expect. Uh, the security to be set to TLSD 1.2 or 1.2x. The difference between these two options is that the first one is default directly to TLS and the second one starts as an unsecured connection and then gets secure later. This is technical stuff, you don't have to add. So we'll set it to TLS 1.2x. Okay. Uh, the, this information for the moment we'll let it as is. Uh, the, uh, how we will group group emails, the two either, uh, the error either, and so on. My um, Gmail force uh, force um, its user to use uh, the Gmail address of the of the sender. So here we have to um, insert our uh, Gmail email address. In this case, mine is maxprog. Uh, at gmail.com if you don't do that if you use your own or another email address gmail will change it it, it will override it automatically then your name and the reply to if you want in my case I can put my my personal address and a signature okay once you, once you are done you can save your new account so you can use it later in this case, we will save it as Gmail. Now, we have just created our Gmail account. We'll have a try and see if it works. So, first we will write a message subject. Some text in the, in the message body. We will add a recipient. In, that, in this case, I will add my own address. And we'll try the delivery. I click on send and see what's happened. In this case, I will not save the document, so I will send it, send it, send it anyway so without saving. And we get an authentication error. The error says an authentication error occurred while communicating with the server. Check your account setting and try again. This happens because I uh, I entered a wrong password, so I will set. I will click on set password and I will check my password again. Now I will write my I will enter my my right password. And we and and, and we we'll save the, the the 
changes and we'll try again oops I made another mistake let's enter the password again now oh, delivery send send anyway now the mail has been sent you know the email have been sent because uh, the, the delivery report is telling you so. Here at the, at the very end of the, of the delivery log, you can see uh, some, infor some important information about what happens during the, the delivery. So you can see uh, all the settings you entered and the dates of delivery, the total duration, four seconds in this case, um, all, for, all for seconds per recipient, and to a total of one recipient and sent one. It means the message was sent, was actually sent. In other case, it, wa it wasn't, if an error wa happened, uh, you, you would see uh, an error in that, in that place and it would it would say uh, sent zero. You can see the mail subject, the mail, purity, etc. And if you go to the recipient's um, tab panel, you will see that the message uh, is labeled, so the icons, the icons have changed to a delivery icon. It is a, a closed envelope. So here you can see uh, how we have uh, been using Gmail. Uh, you, you have, we have entered the Gmail setting very, very easily. We have set the condition to three. Um, we, you can also uh, set um, you can group the email uh, to make sure you are not sending too many messages uh, to Gmail uh, at once because uh, Gmail uh, is, is limited to uh, 500 um, deliveries per day so the ideal would be to set the group to 500 and then um, add some kind of interval uh, to, to avoid sending all the messages at the same time uh, uh, in, in one batch only so for example, if I plus one hour, it would be 500 deliveries per, per hour, far too much. So you have to lower in, until you get uh, the right result. For example, here we can... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I believe I, I'm making some kind of mistakes here. But the idea is to set uh, this this way. Uh, what, what we can do is to go to the Max web webpage and on support uh, we can see uh, the settings for, um, for Gmail. So we are going to see what is the right uh, group. Here it says a group of 50, or 50, 50 and an interval of 6 minutes. Very different from what I am told. 6 minutes. 6 minutes. So Effectively, we have 500 deliveries per hour, 12,000 12, per day. Okay. Uh, I believe it is a, a bit too much because here uh, it say it is 50. I believe we have to lo to put this a little bit higher. The correct would be two hour in and six minutes. So you are under. Uh, you have to be under the, key, the 500. In this case, it would be exactly for uh, this. You have to set the group to 50 in terms of 2 hours, 24 minutes. So you have 20 deliveries per hour. That is a total of 480 uh, deliveries per day. So you are under the 500 message. Okay. You can enter a signature. Uh, you can uh, also uh, set the precedence. In this case, uh, it, it's not really interesting, but you could you could say it. Um, you could you could um, set it as list to um, automatic, uh, automatically uh, add uh, unsubscribe uh, links uh, a link to the to the message. Okay, so that is all we have to see about uh, using Gmail for sending uh, bulk emails. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just ask.